Hey there various, hope you're doing well. This is a YouTube exclusive video and this isn't streamed right now, so it's just me and you and these other bozos in my game. <laughs> we are playing Melia support with a Zaya. There was a trade. I don't think my I don't think my AD carry might actually be an AD carry main, it's just that the Alawi is not gonna be a top lane main. Up against a Sivir Alistair. And you may be asking, Mr. Murray, why are you playing a Milio? Well, the reason why we're playing Milio is because apparently you guys like me playing Milio. So if you like me playing something, then I'm going to play it a little bit more. Um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, Milio into the Alistair is generally okay. Um, playing around the Alistair's flash and gauge could be a bit difficult. But if he goes in for that headbutt, we can interrupt that dash. I don't want to be him. I really do not want to be them. Um, playing with a Zaya in the Milio is okay. Like I would rather have like a Jinx or something like that. But uh, I think Zaya should hopefully be a little bit okay. Siv is going to be pushing in quite a lot. Might open up Alistair to roaming and that's going to be another factor in this game. Oh, I should probably add this is Diamond 2 on EU West. Um, we're playing on the not streaming account. I haven't played on this account for a little while. It did actually get yellow decayed from Diamond 1 to Diamond 2. Um, but my Bizzleberry account hit Masters. So... Yeah, that's pretty nice. So, we won't be playing on the Vizzleberry account for a little while because I would like to maintain that master status. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to be spending a few days trying to see what I can do on this account as well and bring this one up. Um, level one here. I. Yeah, we can just start. That's actually huge. That we got that ward out of the way. Uh, it's going to make it a little bit harder for Alistair to engage into me. I've uh, gone Guardian just to protect us, me and the Zaya, just in case we do get engaged on. Enemy jungle's Talia. We could always potentially see a Talia coming down uh, early on. So we will need to be a tad careful about that. I'm just going to ward this Tri Brush. Hopefully, Zaya doesn't get caught. Should be fine. That bot lane isn't level 2. So yeah, we're just going to be playing pretty safe. Not going to go for too much. Like here, for example, the Civ is just exposed. I take a little bit of a trade there, but it's worth it for the 40 gold. Um, so I'm just going to look every now and then just to self cast E, auto attack, and then get the extra gold. I think Zion missed the cannon minion, which is obviously not so good. Um, I'm not really that bothered by this engage. Yeah. Could have probably used another shield charge there. I'm going to use a health potion just to top myself up. So Alistair basically W to a minion to get into Bolvar's range. Um, yeah, I don't know. Don't think he actually liked that trade too much. I thought my W being under turret here is going to be a little bit spicy. Just going to try and make sure that we keep up on the gold. I'm not concerned at all. I've got heal still. I'm not going to use my heal because the ignite. Now we pop it. Civil use ghost. Okay, she spelled should of that. I'm telling the Zaya I don't have my E yet. Uh oh, I don't have my E yet. I mean, is there any way to can push this in? I mean, I like the Zaya going for stuff, but um, it's pretty difficult for me to push in. Okay, we've got it under turret. Alice is going to chase me a little bit. I'm just going to run away and then recall. Zaya's so going to be left alone a little bit here. I'm just going to put a ward in this tri brush just to make sure there's no funny business with Italia. I'm not sure where she is because, I mean, she showed up on the map at some point. I'm going to go CDR boots. Okay, I don't... Like, Milio has some mana issue. Okay, we can just wait for the fairy charm. I just want this controlled because my main concern is now that we don't have flashes on bot, so we could get ganked. And I want to make sure that we have vision. Okay. So I'm just trying to do some proxy stuff. 
killing minions in between the turrets. So yeah, gold wise we're doing alright. Um, kind of sucks that. I, I don't know. I would would honestly would have preferred Zion not to die. Um, but whatever. It's fine. Um, I mean overall gold wise it wasn't too bad. We got an extra 150 gold for the assist. This Alistair is taking a bajillion amount of damage. I got an um. I was gonna say, I was gonna try to ping my E to the Zion. That ass is taking a lot of damage. So is my Zion now, apparently. Gonna use my W. You know what? I'm gonna put another point in W just to increase the healing, and then we'll both get healed by this by a decent chunk. I wanna top us up because my main concern is like Alistair could just commit, go in. He will die for it, but then the Sivir could end up killing the Zaya. I need to be careful of Zaya because I don't want her to get jumped on by Alistair. I'm not sure if he recalled or what. I don't really feel comfortable face checking that tri brush. Yeah, okay. So here we should just consider resetting. I've got a feeling though they're going to interrupt her recall. This isn't a good recall. Alright, it's going to heal us back up then. How much is this heal? What the... That is... Strange. I managed to actually hit that slow there on the Sivir, which is insane. It's gonna heal this Hecarim, just increase his movement speed just a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, that, this Alistair is kind of weird. Bit desperate there for the engage. So we get to heal for an extra 20 with the campfire being used, but... Um, like it's plus 20 for both of us, so really it's plus 40, if that makes sense. Alright, pretty good start to learn. Um, we are... Oh, thank you for hitting the subscribe button, whoever that was. Appreciate it very much. Thank you for subscribing to me on YouTube. Uh, surely is, I think, is nice here. We've got a lot of mobility champions here with the Hecarim. And the Zaya will like that too with her when she's popped her W. So, Trinos is pretty standard on um, Milio. I think, like, the baseline in terms of mythics and en enchanters, like, I think Trinos is pretty much viable. It's like the baseline on everything. Like, it's always a good option if you're not sure what to take. Um, so, if you're ever not, ever not sure, like, movement speed is just generally good. So, just go Trinos if you're not sure. Um, some cases like, yeah, this is just rude. Asaya has ulti. Oh, Asaya, no, they're trying to poke me here. Wait, didn't, she has ult. I'm just pinging that, like, not to be toxic. I know she can't see it, but like, Asaya has flash and ulti. Huh? Hmm. Not sure about that. I don't even. I mean, their engage was very slow led. I have questions for Zaya because she didn't use ulti or flash. And I was the one whose primary target focused. Like, she wasn't in any initial lot of danger there. If anyone was going to die, it was me. So. Yeah, a bit of a strange one. I. I thought it might be bugged, like she didn't have her ulti, or she might have already used it and the green light was still on. That sometimes happens, that's why I pinged it, but now she had it, so... I don't know. I don't know. That's a bit of an iffy one. I think second item... I mean, I'm gonna be honest, like, the Zaya, she got, you know, the initial engage that she did earlier on was, like, okay when she flashed onto, like, the uh, Alistair and stuff. That wasn't that bad, but, um... I've been getting a little bit of weird vibes from the Sire anyway with last hitting in particular. She doesn't seem too comfortable. Could be her first game of the day. So I think we're just going to play it safe. We're going to do Staff of Flowing Water on Milio. 
buff up the Syndra. The Syndra's already 3-0. She's an incredible late game champion, so we'll just play off that. We'll just make sure that the Syndra is pew pewing those balls. One of the things that is suggested hasn't happened though, which is the uh, the Alistair looking to roam. Mm. Mm. I haven't got my E back off again. The Cinch Sentry doesn't have all two. Yeah, that desire flashed in so strangely there as well. I, mm, yeah, I appreciate the Syndra TPing down. That's nice of her, but I mean, I guess at least we get a plate for her. Hecarim's doing an invade right now. Nice. What? You can't queue the other Talia off like that? It feels a bit of a scam. A crown on the Talia. It's not too much point going nuts here. I don't want to be sticking around here for too long. There's, there's a crown on the on the on the Talia, and it just take too long to. To kill her. It's a quite a smart pick when it's a Fed Center on that enemy team. Yeah, there's not. I don't feel that there's much benefit being here. I, I'm just gonna throw that on her, but I, I don't care. I'm got. I'm going. I'm out of mana. I, I don't see the point of her staying here this long. This just feels like a waste. Feels like she's kind of griefing a bit now. Syndra has ulti, but I mean, she does a lot of damage. She's kind of out of mana, but apparently no, it doesn't doesn't really matter. I'm gonna run into mid here, see if we can help this Hecarim do something. They are still chasing this Alistair. This is... This is great. This is just... What are you doing? Okay, but now are you gonna die? That's the question now. No. Okay, I feel like Zed, if he just reacted that to that much sooner, I feel like the Zaya would have got punished this. But, okay. I'd, I'm not going to pretend to know what all that was about. Feels a bit YOLO esque right now. Not a lot of thought behind some of these moves, and honestly, this is kind of like. You know, like. I don't know if some of you, some of you might be new to my content, but like how I say, like. Negative, positive on a negative, like f making the reinforcement like worse. So that person's now going to be more encouraged to do that kind of play because it worked one time. No, I thought I did enough to protect that ward. Okay, well, we'll just go back with the Zaya. I don't want to defend this lane by myself, that would just be in. Alright, we've got Shridia's. Not died yet. Good job. Um, yeah, team generally is doing pretty well. I mean, it's 4 to 15. Let's be real, right? This should be a relatively simple game. The amount of wards. That? No. I just kind of want to leave. If I'm honest, I don't want this. Syndra's coming around, she's pretty strong, but we are very split, and this is really awkward for me to actually properly help. Give that onto the Hecarim. If he wants to do anything with that, then that's cool. Thank you, Hecarim, for trying to save me, buddy. It's very ooh woo. Mm. 
Incendra's on the flank. Just keep buffing up the second room, giving him movement speed equals more damage, right? Slow down this Talia, can we? I've got nothing for you yet, Talia. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. For like maybe flashing onto the Talia there and slowing her down would allow my team to be able to link up on top, but they got chunked a little bit more than I realized, so it ended up being a little bit of a wasteful flash. Let's go, Hecarim and Zomies. Right, we'll just put a ward around mid because we need some vision here to kind of see what rotations are gonna, the enemy's going to be doing. I don't want to get like in a situation where they're able to do that again, where they can just walk into our jungle without a very late kind of reply. This objective being done is we're not really ready to do the dragon yet. We haven't set up vision for it, so this is a little bit awkward, and I'm a bit split too, so I'm going to need to kind of sprint over to my team here. Are right, we good? Let's use Shredias just to speed up here. Talia's caught. Got nothing really left, so I'm just gonna hang back a little bit. Oh my god. Why me again, man? He's just mad from last time, right? Jeez. Lucky that Zed was serious seven, because Oh man, I would have died. <laughs> A Flamigo is trying to chase the Sintra after the TP. It's kind of funny. So yeah, we just pick up stuff of Flame Water. Um, I don't know why that Zed's trying to bully me. I guess he's just really, really desperate for a kill, right? Because, you know, in theory, he should be ulting the Sintra, really, trying to get this 900 gold bounty. But, um, yeah, he's having a bad one. So now it's all about tidying up the game. Oh, hi mate, can I help you lad? I suggest you move out of the way. I <laughs> get it, because he's a cow. It's entirely a nearby, near the blue, and I don't want to get too involved with it. Wait, what? This is kind of awkward. Rude. Maybe there's a ward around there. I find myself these days using my W just to top up people more than, than ever. I think it's a really nice to top up tool and just get people's health up a little bit. This is a little bit of face checking. I could get caught off quite easily, so I do need to be careful. Try and help out this. Ah, this is having a bad day at the office. Can you not singed? I would appreciate it if you did not. Oh, I'm all alone, dude. I've been ditched. I have been completely bailed on. <laughs> well, it's my first death. That feels bad, though. We did get a little bit bailed on. I'm actually, I'm genuinely quite sad that I got ditched that hard. The hacker was like, noob, I'm out of them. So I wasn't really close enough either, and Amari wasn't even close enough either. So yeah, I don't know. Someone else subscribing on YouTube? Appreciate that, guys. I hope you have subscribed too if you're watching. And if you have, thank you. And a double thank you if you are a YouTube member. Right, well we died, um, trying to help out. It was kind of deep, um, and we're fighting over really nothing, so... Gonna try to make sure that doesn't really happen again. If that happens again, I'm just gonna... Stay more on my side of the map rather than overreaching. I don't even like even being in this position here right now. I don't want to be put in a position where we're having to chase Singed around the map. That's not something I want. That slow helps though. Might have enough actually. She didn't root, but she's got enough damage. Okay, cool. Has he not got boots? He's got boots for swiftness. I'm surprised. He was slowed for quite a long time. 
What's the slow on this? 46% scales with AP. Okie dokie. Alright, we got Mr. Cow. Just looking for some beef with my team. <laughs> Get it? Or I promise one day I will stop. They stole it. Oh my. You know what didn't help them? It's the fact that uh, the... That's a big oof. That the... The Alawi clan from Alistair, I think, gave them vision of it. I think that's what happened. It's a bit yikes. Talia's doing a really good job, considering the team is so far behind. The fact that she's 5-3, stole the Baron. That has slowed things right down. We can do this dragon though. Nine seconds until dragon. Talia spawns at roughly the same time. There are two people top. This is we We kind of just have to go for it right now. Syndra, I don't want the Syndra to die. Syndra, don't die on me. She's got Magi's as well. Yeah. Assuming she's pinging me because I saved her bottom. Or I saved her balls. <laughs> Get it. Okay. It's been a long day, right? <laughs> Let's see what we can do. She's completely pincered off. Oh, there's an Alistair in there as well. Go on, go in there, I dare you. They healed up the tech room. Don't die, Syndra. You're kind of not allowed to die. Do you want me to finish it? Oh. Okay, so I do get it. Is this something we actually want to chase? I think probably not. Oh, you want to take those berries? You can have my berries. Nah, I think this is... Oh yeah, we'll leave it to it. Nice, she actually did get the kill. I didn't think it'd be, it'd be still up there actually. Alright. We did get the dragon. We're on three dragons. So, next dragon is our Infernal Soul if we're able to get it. That would be nice. I've got Staff of Flowing Water now. For the Syndra, which I believe, honestly, I made a slight little video on that, my well, previous video video about how Staff of Flowing Water from Melio is pretty cracked. So, Syndra, 409 AP. If I shield her, she goes up to 459. Um, she's going to go for a Death Cap next, and then that's just going to multiply even more. So, we're going to give this Syndra a lot of AP very soon. She's like halfway there to. Getting juked. I would have thought Syndra would have stayed on the other side, but maybe we can still be okay here. Okay. We got the minion wave, they're still pushing in, so. We are okay. Malawi is pushing in top. We've got a really nice position on the map. Minus that. What is going on with that Alistair, though? I don't know what he's doing. Okay, soon she's down, put down quite low. We're pushing in top. Talia is top. We need to push in this then. Shielding the Syndra to increase the ability power so that her auto attacks to the turrets do a little bit more damage. Alright, Alistair slowed down. We should be protected. Yeah, we can walk this way. We've got Zaya pushing in mid, so this little corridor should be okay. Uh oh, I can't help any more than that. I'm dead actually. I'm I, I'm just dead. That's a banshee's on the um edge of night on the edge. Yeah, that really did backfire. 
since you're going for the little trap play. It kind of made sense at the start, but um, she should have probably have held off not to do that on the Alistair. Also, we lost Alawi earlier, so we were down a player. Um, gonna go for Bidden Idol next, just to get a bit more healing and shielding through. She's dead again. Okay, we kind of got a free Talia Flash because she didn't get anything then. We never took an inhib. Infernal Soul is in one minute. We can't mess around anymore. It's crazy how close this game's got though, right? Like, we are easily able to lose this game. Sindri needs one more large rod for a death cap. But we can't afford to lose Sindri like that again. It was a really good flank by Singe, to be honest. Like, he's a little bit behind in terms of KDA, but he had a big presence at a fight, catching off the, the Singe room. We don't have a lot to protect in that regard. I can, like, try and nudge the Singed away, but he's still going to be pretty far. Okay, if we can catch up the Singed here, that, that, that's it, then. I think we win the game, right? This is a big, bad Singe play right now. He is giga trolling where he is right now. So that's on the way. Oh no. Okay, now I'm dead. Yep. That might be it then. What well, should have been a really bad play. Oh no, she's missing. She's got ulti. Don't know how much slap she's going to be able to get though. The crown is still on the, the Talia. At least Syndra didn't die. I guess we're not learning our lesson, right? Don't chase the singed. Hmm. We've got a big problem. It's a shame Zaya didn't get to use any of her summoners or ulti in that last fight. Because it's going to happen in slow mode to Talia knock up. Once again, it's just Talia, isn't it? She's been very consistent this game. I don't like this wave being here. I, look, 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 this wave. Please, come back. Right, we missed out on Infernal Soul. This Hecarim is... Oh no. Oh, this is bad as well. I gave her another shield to Zaya before I went down because I was going to die to poison anyway. Two for one. I think overall the trade is okay. Alistair's out of mana, but Zed's going to go for the... Oh, that's an... That didn't stun. We can win this fight. We can win it. We can totally win this fight. But we're not going <laughs> to. She literally has 69 HP there. It's crazy how close this game is with the, the advantage we had at the start. Can we force the Baron off of that? Alice is going to be late and so is Sivir, but once again, Talia and Sensei. It's basically all because we didn't get the Baron. Us not securing Baron is... Uh... Being a problem. I don't like them starting this. A bit nervous. Talia has already proven once that she can steal this. Okay, we got it. Do we just run? Can we run? I don't. I don't even know if we can run. Talia's going to look to ultiing us, isn't she? Trying to speed up prioritizing on the uh, on the Zaya. We're going. Look, there's going to be a Talia. What we need to get the hell out there. All right, well, at least we got the Baron. How is <laughs> this game called like this? This is crazy. Yeah, their crown, the Edge of Night, is definitely making Syndra's life harder. But she does now have a death cap. Oh, I don't know about face checking, man. Like 
This is some spooky stuff right now with the vision. So second item will be um, Ardent. Oh no. She ulted too early, but she got the kill. Can we get down there in time? Can we get down there in time? I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying. Okay, can we keep putting pressure here, maybe? We got a lobby in the top. So I was pushing in mid. Just gonna keep healing up the Syndra. Okay, bottom hip's pretty big. Yeah, we could actually get an um We've got a Nexus turret there, which is pretty nice. Huh. He does damage now. Right, push that singed away. And we did get mid and hib. Alawi's still pushing in. Singed's got teleport. Put a ward there. Not sure we want to stick around too much more though. Okay, we are apparently. It's gonna use that just to heal up a little bit, but you need to stay. Oh my god. Okay, let's see what I can do. Don't die, you're not allowed to die. Thank you very much. I was gonna say that Zion recall time is really bad because Sintra literally just TP'd to her, so she wasn't gonna like just recall him. Well, I went from free win to nearly free loss. Kind of stressful. I feel like overall, I played alright. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else that Gamer could have maybe have done better. Um, apart from like the, the one thing I can think of is like the overextension on their blue trying to help out there when in hindsight it probably wasn't a good idea. Like joining in for that wasn't good, but I felt like I did it all right. So yeah, we'll have a look at the stats. I hope you guys enjoyed like the YouTube exclusive. I don't get to do these too often. Um, so I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch me on twitch.tv slash bizzleberry or on the YouTube live streams. I am multi-streaming on both platforms. We're going to honor the Syndra because she kicked butt. And we got 30 LP. Diamond 2, 59 LP on this account. As you can see at the top, we really haven't played that many games on this account. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get this one up to Masters as well. It'd be nice to have two Masters accounts. Again, I think we did have that maybe earlier in the season. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the content. And um, you, if you like the YouTube exclusives, then let me know and I'll try and fit in some time to do a little bit more. All the best, guys. Take care. Bye, berries. Bye. You're not going to just let the, the video auto run out, are you? <laughs> it's kind of cringe. <laughs>